All right, last example in this section, what we're trying to do is we're trying to multiply these two polynomials together. Uh, as you can see, this is a little bit different because now uh, what we have is we have multiple variables. But still, same kind of process. We're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. Uh, this is a quadratic binomial and a quadratic binomial. So I'm going to take this and multiply it times both. It gives me x to the fourth and then minus 2x squared y. Uh, just a little heads up, if I'm multiplying polynomials together and I end up with multiple variables, I usually list the variables in alphabetical order. So I don't usually put negative 2y x squared, I usually put negative 2x squared y. So list them alphabetically. And lastly, I'm going to multiply this times both those, so it'll give me a positive 4x squared y, and then minus 8y squared. So what we're going to do is we're just going to combine like terms. So bring that down, x to the fourth, and then plus 2x squared y, and then minus 8y squared. So as you can see, uh, we ended up with a fourth degree trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. Uh, we have multiple variables. This term has a degree of 4. This term has a degree of 3. This term has a degree of 2. All right, there you go.